Uh, okay, kiddos, before... We, yes? I want us to get through this first, and I'd like you to pick a better time for you to go to the restroom. I, we're going to get back to activity two. Focus on the objective. What was activity one? Read the, Read the objective. We started activity two to focus on the objective. That our objective was... It, no, that was a big question. Our objective was to analyze organizational patterns. How did the author share their ideas? How did the author lay them out? That's not, doesn't need an answer. That was what we're focusing on. What are some ways that the author shares their ideas? Asma, what are some patterns? Chronological. Chronological. What does that mean, Melanie? In time order. What's another way they organize Cause ideas? Effect. Cause and effect. What does that mean, Eric? <clears throat> Focus on the objective. What does that mean? Cause and effect. To find what 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 did it cause it to happen? Okay. You want to find it. What caused it to happen? Restate that. Cause and effect. The cause is, I'm going to repeat that, the cause is what made it happen, and the effect is with a stronger voice, please. The effect is what happened. Compare and contrast. Benjamin? Compare is like comparing another person. What does that mean? Looking at what is? Different. No, this the same. Very good, because these two gals are wearing navy blue with the same same word on the front, but it has different font. So if it has different font, is that a comparison or is that a contrast? That is a contrast. Kiddos, we've been focusing on, on the big question while you read through your packets to analyze. That's one level of thinking, analyze. We're, we're moving to a higher level of thinking, and I said that we would synthesize. And I believe Asma said, what is synthesis? Here we go. Synthesis. We're going to, I want to share this with you. When it comes to students and thinking, did this get off again? That's amazing. All right. When it comes to students thinking, you can show us knowledge. And it's, it's very simple to show us knowledge. Uh, Leanna, what's on my feet? Shoes. Shoes. That wasn't too hard, was it? No. Okay. When we ask hot questions, we want students to really give it deep thought. I'm going to share something with you that I... We're in the middle of some... Yes, Kayla, baby. Come on, Mio. We're teaching. I have, I have, tomorrow I have to return this before I go home. All righty, baby. What are the two things we're going to do? Be good and be quiet. Be good and be quiet. I like her style. You, you do that, honey. Then you'll be able to take that home. I was sharing this with another teacher. Strangely enough, I went to go share it Miss. Miss Hall said, well, I she need more hot questions. Then she gave me this sheet about a month, month and a half ago. I read through it. It really wasn't relevant to me. I revisited it, and I was, and I was like, oh, my gosh. There's a really neat thing here. Hot questions require students to apply, analyze, synthesize. Oh, that's not just asking me what's on my feet. Okay, that's simple. That doesn't involve... Or if I say if I say that I went I went to the uh, to the restaurant and I got some food to eat for lunch. What did I say? You went to the restaurant and got some food for lunch. So you could comprehend what I said. That's good. That's good thinking. But is that really deep thinking? No. No. If I were to say, uh, now that you know what a personal narrative is, go write your own personal narrative. Have we done that in this class? Yeah, yeah. Yes. That's you applying your knowledge. Well, analyzing. That's you having to really be like a detective and figure out which pattern's being used. You have to use signal words. You have to give it thought about ideas. You ask, you ask yourself what, honey? How are they writing it? How are they writing it? What pattern are they using? What signal words are in there? That's deeper thought. Well, we are moving to synthesis. And Ozma, what did you say? What does it mean? Synthesis, from the Greek with and placing, with placing. Synthesis refers to a combination of two or more entities that together form something new. Two or more entities that together 
form something new. Kayla, I'm, I'm going to ask you to not raise your hand anymore, but I will answer this one. What's going on? You want new books? You would like some new books? Is that okay, honey? I'm going to get Kayla some new books, and this is the last thing you're going to ask me, right, Kayla? All righty, honey. Ooh, there's one about animal tracks. You can draw the animals, about a girl looking for flowers, raccoons and lizards, and something about a little girl living on an island. I bet you could figure that stuff out just by looking at the pictures, couldn't you, honey? Well, you do that. I'll come talk with you later. But much later, when the kids are at their desk. When am I going to talk with you, Kayla? When the kids are at their desk. That's super duper. All right. Synthesis refers to a combination of two or more entities that together form something new. When you have chocolate and you put it with milk, what do you get? Chocolate. That's synthesis. If you have sugar, water, and lemon juice, no, you, lemon. that's synthesis. That's not necessarily synth synthesis of thinking, but that's an example, a real world example of what is synthesis. What is your teacher wearing? What do I look like? Hold on. If you had one word to say, what style is this? Hipster. Hipster. Interesting. What would you say? Why did Angel say country earlier? Because uh, your shirt is... Whoa! Why did you say hipster? Oh, the am I... Oh, am I combining two or more different entities? What about the shoes? Basketball. So I've got hipster... Country, sporty, combined in my style. This is synthesis. You combine two different things, or two or more entities that are not necessarily together. And when you put them together, what do they form? What do they form? They form something new. I'm going to talk about words. What do we study in here? What are we reading. reading? Do I read palms? No. Do I read minds? No. What do we read in here? Text. 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 Pack up all the dishes. Make a note of all good wishes. Say goodbye to the landlord for me. All you know, he's always bored me. And throw away all those L.A. papers. The old moldy box of vanilla wafers. Adios to all this concrete. Going to get me some dirt road back street. What is that? It's a poem. It's words. I'm reading. I'm reading a poem, right? That's one thing. What would happen if I combined it? You make something new. Mm. Let's see. Back up all the dishes. Make note of all good wishes. Say goodbye to the landlord for me. All you know, he's always bored me. And throw out all those LA papers. Molding boxes of vanilla wafers. Adios to all this concrete. Gonna get me some dirt road back street. I can just get off of this L.A. freeway without getting killed or caught. I'd be down the road in a cloud of smoke to some land that I ain't bought. What did I make, Joseph? I saw That's synthesis of what two entities? Poems and, and music. That is is synthesis. You kids are going to synthesize organizational patterns. The big question today, what two or more organizational patterns can you synthesize to share your ideas? And how would you do that? We don't answer that now, do we? Could I tell a story? 
with a problem and a solution and also include causes and effects? Don't answer that now. Do I have ideas about a recipe that I want to share? So I might have to use order of some sort and maybe make a list? Whoa! You don't know, do you? Think about that while you're practicing what? Please tell me what that means. What does that mean? Gabriela, what does that mean? Explain your answers as part of it. What's the first step? What's the first step, though? That survey means look around. So what does that mean while you're looking through the passage? That's reading. That's reading, when I'm just looking at the passage. Look at the questions, look at the titles, look at the sections, look at how long it is. Now, when it says think about the questions and read carefully, what part of reading carefully is very, very important? Take notes. Yes, taking notes, Joseph, is very, very important. I hope our meeting with Ms. Penny has convinced, that, convinced you of that. And where, it's, and, and where it says analyze your answer choices, does that mean you just pick one? No. What do you have to do? Before you explain it, you have to actually make sure you found the right answer. Go back. Look back. Look back. Do the work before. Because, Joseph, could you explain your bad answers yesterday? He sure tried. No, work, work. Find it what is the best answer choice. And then when you prove your answer, you will explain it. What are you going to be doing at your desk? That means practicing for the star test. What might I do later? With some small group. And what are, what are we going to do in small group? Discuss the... Discuss what? The questions. The text. The text, the passage. We're going to discuss the strategies. Get to work, kiddos. I think I should turn off the video possibly. Maria. Hold on, Kayla, baby. They're not at their desk totally. They're not there. Give me, give me a little more. Where's Maria at? Cassandra, she's not here today. Gabriela, Benjamin. Yes, go ahead, Gabriela. Thank you for waiting. And who else? Mel uh, Kimberly, go to the restroom now. Eric. Eric. Now I want you to make sure that you have everything you need, Eric, to do your best on the test. Dowdy, Vienna, I want you to make sure you have everything you need to do your best on the test. What are you doing? Get in a dictionary? Ask for it next time. Yes. Okay, son. Yes, Leanna. Yes, your dictionary. Yes, Maria, you may get your dictionary. We're killing the video.